Hello everyone and welcome back to Pentamute, where we just found out some very interesting things about Brother Guy. Uh, we are going to... I, I want to go talk to, to Mother Illuminata pretty soon, but right now I need to ask Sister Gertrude about some herbs to help Brother Edok. God bless you, Andres. Sister Gertrude... I need your assistance. Brother Edok is of ill health. He's very weak, has strong breathing, and remarks of pain in his chest and heart. Oh my, Master Mallard, that's very true, indeed. Let me think. St. Hildegard recommends yellow cantium, but we currently have none in the herb hut. I mostly grow higher, it mostly grows higher up the mountains, but there may be a few in the forest. If you bring me some, I can mix up a curative broth. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. I will set out with haste. May God shine mercy upon you, brother, uh, brown brother eat up. Take care, bro Andreas. Hmm. Definitely need to help. Brother eat up. Who this? God bless you, Master Mado. God bless you, Sister. How are you faring? Mother Illuminata is grieved to hear about Otto's death, as I'm. The Lord granted me the gift of knowledge in grief, so I will help the sisters how I can. It's a heavy burden to carry. Not so, Master Muller. It was by my losses that I found his life. His life. As Christ said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now I can guide the sisters in their grief. Prayer your counsel suits our spirits. This is why, Master Mallard. Is working for Mother Illuminata very different from working for Mother Cecilia? My duties remain the same, regardless of who the progress is. Uh, you are very devoted to progress, sister. Surely you've noticed some changes. Mother Illuminata prefers a warmer room and maintain the hearth in the room throughout the night. It's incredible considerate, sister. Incredibly considerate, sister. May it bring glory to God. I must return to my duties. God bless you, Master Mother. And you, sister. God bless you, Andres. I need to talk to you. Let's see. Can I enter the little quarry? Greetings, Master Mother. Hello, Stena. Not very talkative. That's new. Okay, we need to get our ass to the forest to find yellow, whatever. Yellow, what's his face? To. To help brother Edoc. Look, oh, it's not this. That yellow. Here's some flowers, master. Hmm, close but not a match. The ones you found. Uh, not a match to the ones you found. Let's keep searching. Oh, I also have to search for flowers, I guess. Hmm. Anything over here? Not really. What about these, Master Andreas? As far as red, they don't match what you found. Yellow plant with a liquid leaves, this might be the one. Master Andreas, more flowers. 
still not quite the match that we we're looking for. Surely we'll find a way. Okay, we got the flowers. We got the medicine for Edoc. I thought we already found the flowers. The the, the the letters to the Golden Bruins. Sister Gertrude, I have the flowers. Not by surrender. Have you found the yellow cantium? Yes, I have it. By the grace of God, fortunately there are a fair bit dry already. It's best Grind and mix Scantian into broth with a few other herbs for calming the body. It'll take a bit of time. Come back later, Andreas. Until then. Okay. Nothing here. Can we do while we wait? At least to pass the time. Uh, I forgot what's the freaking key for the. There you go. Uh, speak to Father Thomas. He's not gonna tell me anything about confessions, for fuck's sake. Still, can hurt to ask. Thomas. Andreas, I don't suppose you've come for our local St. John's Day confession. Funny you should have mentioned that. I have to give priority to the locals, of course, but if you want to wait a few hours, I can hear you. If you don't... If you don't have to, of course, but I would be remiss if I didn't offer. Uh, sounds just fine to me. Oh, good. It may take a while to get through everyone, but you're welcome to stay and break. Benedicti... Bless you. Dominus sit for Biscom. Lord be with you. I like first God and bless Mary, every virgin to... Every virgin to Michael and the Archangel, yada yada yada, bless John the Baptist, and to the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and to the Blessed Lutherius, and... Cashin. Cashin and blessed juvenile along with all the saints and you father through my fault through my fault through my fault What is it that you, uh, what is it you have to con come confess, Paul? So made my father to go down to the ruins to draw. How many times? Three. You must have known this is wrong every time. Why did you keep go doing it? Oh no, I just think it's a stupid rule. He's right, it's stupid. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Is there anything else, Paul? I had impure thoughts about a girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, homes among us. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, how many times? I uh, don't think I can remember a lot, <laughs> for fuck's sake. 
All right, anything else? No, Father, I need to say it quietly. That's fine, Paul. That's what I go by the guy. But my father was a woman at the roots, they were having carnal relations. Serious matter, Paul, but you're not to tell me. You're not here to tell me the sins of others. If you want to confess, they know where to find me. Alright, father. Eh, but we already knew that. Obey your father over the temptation to think about girls. God wants us to live in harmony with our family. You cannot be in harmony if you disobey to your parents. And if you find yourself thinking about girls, pray to the Blessed Virgin for strength. Yes, father. For the sake. Father Thomas? What is it, Paul? How are we going to be alright? I mean, the soldiers. I don't know what's going to happen, Paul, but I do know that we are saved. Trust in that, trust in God. I will, Father. Four parents, five Hail Marys, and two Our Fathers. Yes, Father. Dominus Noster, Dominus Noster, Jesu Christi, te absolvant et ego auctoriate ipsus te absolvo ab omni, vinculo ex communicationis et interdicti in quantum possum et tu indiges. Don't, don't mock my Latin pronunciation, I know it's not great. May Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and I by his authority absolve you from every place Bond of excommunication and interdict in as much as I am able and you require. Dede ego te absolvo a peccatis tuis in nomine patris fidi spiritu santi amen. Whereupon I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What do you say? So I saw a woman at the Roman ruins. Well, we saw them there we had. That's right, we did. Nothing we didn't already know. What have you come to confess, Gret? Oh, so cute. <laughs> Casper! Don't be shy. Well, Father, I argue with my husband about his support of the peasants. Ulrich is the head of your household, but it's not sinful for you to disagree about things. It's a serious matter. The peasants are trying to change the way things have always been. When people try to change a place's way of life, they are playing with fire with sin. It's Ulrich's soul in danger. I know Ulrich is a good Christian, but I worry that the peasants will become violent. I thought Otto's death might shock the peasants into abandoning their cause, but it only inflamed them. Oh god, poor Otto. Master Andres, do you think Gret could have killed Otto? Nah. She was in the scene right when we arrived, and she was still in her costume. We saw what was almost certainly the killer pass us in the woods. It's not possible for her to have been in both places at once. That's right. You're so smart, Master Andreas. Well, right, Brett. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm here to listen to your confession. No, no, Father, thank you. I appreciate it. First, I remember what I said about the difference between disagreeing and disobeying. Yes, Father. God wants our families to be in harmony, but there is room for disagreement, especially on something so important. Jesus. Now for your parents, say two Hail Marys and one Our Father. 
Thank you, Father. I will. Yada yada yada. We go to Absolver, then we fight everything with Santi. All that spiel. That was a helpful at all. Is anyone going to confess something good? <laughs> Uh, it would be just our luck if the killer had no conscience about this whatsoever. What have we come to confess, Anna? It's a waste of time. Want me to, want me to go out and tell everyone we're eavesdropping on confessions? Please come help us solve the murder. Father, I stole things from people during St. John's Eve. Oh, 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 she wasn't... Oh, she was... She, she wasn't coming close to him because she likes him. She was pickpocketing pocketed him. How did you do that? I waited until the bonfire and then I went out and... I just took things when people weren't looking. Serious Sonana, what did you steal it from whom? A candle from Magnus's house. I also took a cup from Johann Bauer's house. And a letter from Martin Bauer's house. Oh. A letter? Why? I haven't even taught you yet to read. I don't know, I just looked fancy and the ink was pretty color. See, this is done. Oh, well, it's not. It's very interesting. What a part have a fancy letter. Ink that's, pr that's pretty color. This is received a letter from the, th the thread puller. But why would he receive a letter from the thread Not helping. Oh, Anna. You have to return them, all of them, and you have to apologize to the people you stole from. Apologize? Could I return them in secret? They probably don't even know they're gone. No, and if you keep this up, you're going to wind up like Martin Power did. Martin found God and his family again, but not every wayward child's story ends as happily as that of the prodigal son. I'm sorry, Father. Apologize to God and to the people you stole from. Yes, Father. As additional penance, say five Hail Marys and five Our Fathers. Yes, Father. Uh, I go to Absolvo, I'm departed for the Spirit of Santis. Why have you come to confess? You're just here for Easter, don't tell me that. Well, Father, I laid with my late brother's wife on St. John's Eve. Fantastic. What? <laughs> Alright, I admit, that was unexpected. The third year in a row. <laughs> Father, please, keep your voice down. Can you? Them, can you? Uh, I should go light a cannon. Three times, three times in three years, Johan. If it happened, Father, we just get carried away by Saint John's bonfire. Don't you bring Jason? Don't you bring Saint John into this? Sorry, Father. This has to stop. Johan, God's forgiveness is limitless, but you must truly repent for your sin. Don't know what's in your heart, but he does. Okay, uh, this is probably a waste of the candle. I, I'm guessing I can only do this once without getting caught. Uh, you yourself are far from salvation, as we are from Jerusalem. Yes, Father. For penance, say five... 
five decades of Hail Marys, and don't forget the Art Fathers. Five? I'll take forever, Father. You'll burn in the fires of hell forever if you don't stop this, Johann Bauer. Alright, alright, I understand. Thank you, Father. Oh, and Father, I can spare a confession. Funny. Common low value silver coins, the Germanic equivalent of the Roman denarius. Fettings are minted throughout the Holy Roman Empire and vary widely in style, silver, content, and value. You can spare a confession fighting right now, I'm sorry. It's right, Johan, you don't need to give me anything. It's more important to help your family right now. Thank you, Father. Oh, and no, Father. If I die, I mean, the soldiers that kill me. Yes. Will I go to hell? I don't know, Johan. Please don't let it come to that, for everyone's sake. I'll do what I can, Father. Uh, Ego Togo Salvo, number five of things with the Santi, yada yada yada. Uh, Piers Johan has done this before a couple of times. Did he say anything about the murder? No, unfortunately. Sorry, right, Master Andreas, maybe the next one will go better. Andreas, it's your turn. Alright, Father. Just wait here, Casper. Yes, Master. What should I confess? Uh, would you mind if we move right to the confession part, Father? It's been a long day, I think. God will understand, but make it a good confession. And then, what would you like to confess, Andreas? Perhaps covetousness. Oh, for what? Same as always. Books, manuscripts, printed volumes alike. Um, on any and every subject. The desire for knowledge is not necessarily sinful. Many of the townsfolk have even started to buy books from the jokers on their own. I can't stop fire. I have dozens, perhaps hundreds of them. Perhaps a hundred of them. I can't even read most of them. The library of Krakow is incredible, and the printers of the city produce beautiful new texts every year. There are greater sins, Andreas, but I wonder at how easily the mind could be infected by what's printed in some of these books. But why do you engage in this pursuit if it is more of a compulsion than a pleasure? Because my work no longer brings me an enjoyment. There is no pleasure in painting. Por portraits, altarpieces, religious artwork with the client's families placed prominently in the center, in the corner. All pomp and vanity, monuments to the powerful as they, want, they are wanted to be seen. Seems that the wealth and fame are not as nourishing as you might have hoped. I must, Father. You must not lose hope, Andreas. Look for God in your heart, and you'll find him. It grieves me to hear that you are in pain, and this pain is leading you to air. I do not know what course it will lead you to happiness, but God knows. When you return to Nuremberg, seek counsel from your wife and from your priest. My wife is... well, I don't know, Father. I see. I'm sorry, Andreas. It seems you have many problems to work through. For penance, say three hailberries and two our farmers. And when you feel despair, remember that hopelessness is about the bravest sins against God. It offends God because no matter how dire things may seem, there is always salvation through Christ's sacrifice. Yes, Father. Ego te absolvo, yada yada yada, yada yada yada. God bless Andreas. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to prepare for supper. Go later, Father. Go. 
Might as well do my penis now. Fuck's sake. Uh, what is it? Three Hail Marys to our fathers. Hail Mary for Grace Lord is with you. That's how I'm on you. Yada yada yada. Hail Mary, welcome, Mother of God. Pray for our sinners and the other one death. Yada yada yada. And our Father, who art in heaven, how are we are made. Yada 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 yada. Daily bread, forgive debts, debtors, temptation, deliver from evil, yada yada yada. Amen. Very full of grace, yada yada yada. Forgive your womb. Mother of God, pray for sinners, hour of our death, yada yada yada. Amen. Our Father in heaven, I love your name. Yada yada yada, that will be done. Earth, is, earth in heaven. Daily bread, forgive debts, debtors. Trespasses, temptation, deliver from evil. The Mary full of grace, what is with you? Blessed God, was a woman, blessed womb. Father of God, pray for sinners, hour of death. Amen. Three Hail Marys, two words prayers. Oh, Casper is in two words. What? Wake the fuck up. Casper, wake up. Address. This is our Emily. Are you alright? I'm fine. My body pains me, but my spirit soars. God makes the soul service known to all who are in heaven. Indeed, he does. You were listening to their confessions, weren't you? Uh, were you? Don't listen, but sometimes I hear. Did you hear something we missed? Sound like a waste of time to me. Not today, but I do hear someone else is confessing in here the other day. Brother Guy came here to confess to Father Thomas. Ah. Oh, right after he was talking to us. Interesting. Brother Guy wanted to confess to Father Thomas for two reasons. First, he was confessing about stealing money from the Abbey. Uh, I can see why he wouldn't want to confess that to the Abbot. Second, he knew that Father Thomas was becoming... Suspicious of his role in managing the Abbey's money. If Brother Guy confessed to him, Father Thomas would be bound to secrecy by the seal of confession. Huh. Fucking Guy. Being smart. Brother Guy has very few scruples. He also said other Zimmermans confronted him about the Abbey's finances when he was doing repairs. Otto saw Brother Guy writing in the Abbey's ledger and he demanded to see it. Otto said he'd prove the Abbey was hoarding money and uh, one way or the other. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like he had motive to see Otto dead. Why are you telling us this, Sister Emily? Just a woman, dead to the world, abiding in the cell, but I still have eyes that see and ears that hear. Brother Key have abused the truth of Father Gerno and Father Thomas both, the trust. And in doing so, he has profaned the sacrament of confession to shield him from justice. This is the least I could do. Thank you, sister. I must pray now. God be with you both. Well, what should we do now, master? We need to find that ledger and evidence of Kismas deeds. Because if Otto forced the abbot to review the ledger, the abbot would realize that Guy was still the wedding from the abbey. Exactly. He had motive to silence Otto permanently. We just have to search the abbey until we find it. It's possible some of the brother, brothers and sisters may be able to assist us as well. It's 
as you want to be able to keep my own for this fall. Yep, we're out of fucking time. Please give Brother Enoch his medicine, though. have to be left for the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I have been Paul. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe to all the things that make the algorithm happy. I will see you all next time.